Okay, uh, hello YouTubers. Today, what I have for you in store for you guys is um a video on how to fix the um actual 3194 error iTunes gives you um when you try to downgrade your um iPod Touch fourth generation. That's what I'm actually using my iPod Touch fourth generation. Um, it's running actually it's uh, a 4.2.1 firmware. And I will be happy to show you that in my description. Here it goes. Um, if you can see that, it says 4.2.18C148. And it's uh, when every time I try to downgrade this iPod, it gives me an error message. And I actually use Red Snow to jailbreak this. And if you could see the Cydia on there, it does not open up. Whatever I do... It doesn't open up and that's why I'm actually trying to downgrade to a 4.1 so I could actually jailbreak this the right way and not get that error message but anyhow um, first things first everything that I say and do here on this video I will definitely put it in the link description so you just go to the link description and I'll like put it um, in order in steps for you guys but what I first want you guys to do, oh, first of all, I want you to um, exit your iTunes because I don't want you to be connected to iTunes because it won't work if you are connected to iTunes, your iPod is. Okay, so first things first, go into your computer. Uh, go into my computer, actually, my computer, not your computer, but yeah. And then go to your local disk and then click on Windows. And then what you want to do is then scroll down and go into your system 32. And um, it'll come up. And then what I want you to do is then scroll down right here and, and go into your drivers. And then go into ETC, etc. Go into your host. And open this file with your notepad, please. And I already copied and pasted this on here. It's like you delete the one that you originally have and you paste this one on. And I will put this whole thing, this whole thing, in the link description. When you then paste that on, click on save. And then you can go ahead and exit it. You want to save changes? Well, I don't because I already had it. But just go ahead and click it. And it'll ask you, even if you exit the page, it'll ask you if you want to save it. You can go ahead and press yes. Exit it. And then open up your iTunes. And hold down your shift key and the firmware you want, the 4.1 firmware. And it should work for you guys. It absolutely should work for you guys. Um, I don't. I, I think this is 100% working because there's no reason it shouldn't be working. And that's all you do, guys. That's all there is to it. And, um... That's it for me, guys. I'm logging out. And um, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.